Hey guys, for this video what we're going to do is we're going to use synthetic division um, when the leading coefficient of my linear term is not 1. As far as doing this, um, the starting process goes, it's still the same thing. You still want to make sure that all of your um, terms go down in order of exponents, so 3, 2, 1, 0. This one is not missing any, so we don't have to add any zeros. Um, if it went from like degree 4 to degree 2, then you would be missing the degree 3 term and you'd put a 0 in between. So you want to make sure that it always goes in order of, um, in descending order of exponents, so 3, 2, 1, 0, which what this one does. For this one, because we have a 4 in front, that if we were doing long division, we'd really be dividing by 4 rather than 1. What we have to do, and that's why a lot of people will just use long division for a problem like this, um, because you have to go through and divide every single term by 4 to get this to where it has a leading coefficient of 1. Because um, synthetic division only works if you have a leading coefficient of 1. So a lot of people will not choose to use this method because of the, fra the fact that you're going to have to deal with fractions. Um, so now what I would have on the outside is negative 9 fourths. And then inside, these would simplify so I would have a 1. I'm going to leave that as negative 31 over 4 rather than um, changing it to a decimal only because of the fact that later when I multiply, um, it will be come back to a whole number down here most likely. And then the negative 74, I could reduce it, but then I would have to reduce again, so I'm just going to leave that there. The last number I'm going to go ahead and simplify because it is a whole number. 28 divided by 4 is a whole number. So if it becomes a whole number, I would go ahead and simplify it. If it's still a fraction, I would just leave it as is. So our first step is to always bring down our first term. So we would bring down the 1. And then remember, we multiply. So I would take negative 9 fourths times 1, which gives me negative 9 fourths. So what I was talking about before by not changing this to a decimal, if I take this top number here, negative 31, and add it to the negative 1, I get negative 40 divided by 4 which just gives me negative 10. So because of the fact that this becomes a whole number again, um, that's why it's not worth it to go ahead and transfer those to decimals, and you could cause problems if it wasn't a nice, concise decimal. So again, negative 9 fourths times 10. This is really positive 90 divided by 4. And so if I just look at the top number, 90 minus 74 gives me 16. And 16 divided by 4 is 4. So again, I just get a whole number. And then for the last one, because I'm doing negative 4, 9 fourths times 4, 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I would just be left with negative 9. So here is another reason why a lot of people will not use synthetic division is because remember this right here is the remainder. But we divided by 4 here. So um, we have to multiply this, multiply remainder. by the value or by the leading coefficient or the um, of linear term. So whatever you divided by, that's what I'm essentially trying to say, um, whatever you divided by here, you have to multiply the remainder by. So I have to do negative 2 times 4. So my remainder is really negative 8. Um, because I divided by a fourth of this value, I do have to multiply it by 4 at the end. So again, a lot of times people just choose to do long division with this when there's not a 1 in front of the x term. You can still do it, but there's a lot of things that you have to remember. So you have to remember to divide every single term by the leading coefficient of the linear term. You do have to deal with fractions, and you do have to remember to multiply the remainder by whatever you divided by originally. Um, so there is a lot to remember in this. So if you're writing down our answer, remember that our answer, we always go one less than what we started with. So our answer would be 1x squared, or just x squared, minus 10x plus 4, with a remainder of negative 8. So this would be our answer. Um, or if you are in a course where you have to write it as a fraction, you would write it as x squared minus 10x plus 4 divided by negative 8 over 4x plus 9. I don't know why I put the divided by. I think I've been doing too much today. Um, let me change this. Sorry. That should have just been subtract. OK. 
right? So if we take x squared minus 10x plus 4 minus 8 divided by 4x plus 9, that is an alternative method. So again, it just depends on the course that you're in. A lot of times in an Algebra 2 course, you would write it like this. A lot of time, like in an Algebra 1 course or um, some other courses, it's okay to just put the remainder negative 8. It just kind of depends on the publisher. Um, if they're looking for the quotient, they ask you to put in the quotient. The quotient is just this part. And then this would be the remainder. As always, thanks for watching. Again, like I said with this, it's up to you. Sometimes long division might be a little bit easier in this situation.